The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, and I want to welcome all of you here to today's webinar titled Set Sail with Advantage, our top 22 river cruises featuring Oberammergau and much, much more. I do greatly appreciate all of your time here today. We'll dive right on in. So I do want to, uh, of course, mention that uh, one lucky attendee attending today's webinar will be entered into a raffle to win $1,000 in future travel credit. And please stay tuned here to the end to find out how to enter. The agenda here for today is going to be just a very brief oversight and overview uh, detailing who we are, a tab bit about us, Moving right along into the spotlight on those 2022 rivers journeys, featuring a couple of uh, explorer trips uh, as well for 2021. We'll then dive on into the health and sa health and safety plan, and from there, of course, mentioning a tad bit about our referrals program as well as our groups program, highlighting the ways in which we can travel for free here, and of course, to wrap things up prizes and bonus incentives for webinar attendees only. So of course, we were founded here in 1983 as an American owned global tour operator specializing in luxury small group tour experiencing for the mature and sophisticated traveler. We operate on each and every continent on a global scale with offices in numerous uh, countries throughout the world. Recently, uh, numerous travel awards, of course, not only from Cruise Critic, Reader's Digest, Travel Leisure's World's Best Awards, as well as the Solo, Solo Travel Awards. Since 2003, we've had just under 500,000 total travelers, accounting for 10,554 total journeys, 29 of which have been referred to Vantage, with a 71% repeat traveler rate on quality, of course, as predicated on past traveler business here, 95% of all of our travelers rating us as excellent to good overall travel experiences with the vast and overwhelming majority stating that they would indeed travel with us again. And 92% of those would refer to Vantage, would refer Vantage to family and friends. We are indeed the best value in deluxe travel, leader in solo travel. We do offer, of course, our Smart Money Savings Program, savings of up to 10%. Of course, we do want to uh, push that back here to you here with 5% loyalty rewards for those past traveler discounts. Now on a referrals program that does enable you the ability to travel for free. Some of the big benefits that we see now currently, of course, is that uh, free air offers that we're seeing for a good bit of our 2021 journeys. As well, our groups program giving back in a big way at one for 10. We'll dive on into that in a tad bit more in a little bit more detail. From here, I do want to announce our special guest here, Vice President of Worldwide Operations, Deirdre Dirkman, 
Thank you so much, Deirdre, for your time here today. As she enlightens us on the 2022 Rivers lineup, Oberama Gown, as well as some of those new exciting features that we have here for 2022 in the lineup. Thanks so much, Doug, and uh, thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, as Doug mentioned, my role here at Vantage, I'm responsible for uh, worldwide operations, which includes everything from product development uh, to product delivery of our products. Um, so my group, one of my groups is actually responsible for um, the tailoring and customization of all the journeys that you guys love so much to travel on. Um, that includes also uh, setting deployments for our river vessels, asking you where you'd like to go next um, is a really important thing. You've probably been asked it 500 times every time you call, um, but we really do um, take where the destinations that you that you specify that you'd like to go to. Um, and we try and work them into our itineraries of, over um, our various deployments or land journeys that we have on offer. Um, so today we are going to talk a little bit about um, the Oberon Morgau Passion Play. Um, for those of you who do not know, um, the Passion Play or the Passion Spiele is a Pro, uh, program that has been a uh, performance of the passion play that has been going on in a small town called Oberammergau in Germany in Bavaria uh, for the last 400 years. Normally um, it happens every 10 years. Um, so since the late 1800s, it has been happening on um, the 10th year. So on 2000, 2010, it was due to happen this year in 2020. And unfortunately, due to travel restrictions and so on, it has been moved to 2022. In over 400 years, it has only actually ever been canceled on one occasion um, back during um, a war way back when um, the, 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 uh, the town of Oberammergau were not able to um, to facil facilitate and operate the uh, the Passion Play. So the Passion Play uh, runs from May 15th all the way through till October 2nd. It operates and, and performs uh, five days a week. So Monday and Wednesday, they, they don't have performances, um, but close to 60% of the population of the village of Oberammergau, Germany, participates in some way in this play um, and in the performances. So everything from um, costume design, makeup, hair, uh, you know, uh, preparing of food, uh, meals, so on. Um, it's a very, very um, intricate program that they put on every 10 years and they start planning in the October prior. Uh, so they're planning all the way from October of the previous year, all the way through to May. Um, so such things as the men stopping shaving so that they can um, play the proper parts um, for people of that era and that time frame. Uh, the play is performed in an outdoor theater um, and it's it's a lengthy a lengthy day, um, but it's a once in a ten year opportunity. Um, it's split into two parts. It's split two and a half hours. Then there's a break of about three hours in between for dinner, um, and then the play resumes again for um, another two hours. Um, so this year, or 2022, will be its 42nd performance um, of this Passion Spiele. Um, and as I mentioned, um, just over 50% of the population of the village does participate. Um, and this trip, because it is so popular, and not just with um, religious groups or, or um, you know, People, people who like to to uh, in, engage in, in church going and anything like that. It's it's very very popular with um, all kinds of different walks of life and religions. Um, the play itself is performed in German, um, but you do get um, an English booklet, and you know it, it's a, obviously a well known story that can be followed along, and even though it is in German. Um, all of our all of our trips that encompass the Oberammergau play, um, the Passion play, um, include either one or two nights in Oberammergau itself, with another night in Munich, 
Oberammergau is uh, located not too far from Munich in Germany. That's the largest um, close by city. Um, so all of our all of our extension trips um, take in a night in at least one night in Munich. And because of the popularity of this trip um, and this trip extension, um, in 2022, we've gone ahead and we've added it to a multitude of other itineraries. Um, so in the past, it's just been an optional extension from a couple of our most um, most popular riverboat trips. But in 2022, we will be actually adding it as an optional extension of um, a couple of our ocean odyssey itineraries. Um, right here on the screen, we're looking at a typical Oberammergau um, house in the village with all this artwork on the outside, uh, which is just really um, special to that area. Um, and as most people know, Bavaria in the south of Germany, um, near the Black Forest, this is sort of uh, typical scenery in that part of Germany, um, and particularly um, precious for um, decoration, decorations and so on during the time of the Passion Play performances. Um, so, uh, Doug, if you'd like to move along. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, as I mentioned, we in the past have just operated um, and offered the extension to Oberammergau on our majestic rivers of Europe and our Switzerland and the heart of the Rhine and Mosul. Um, so, if you take a look at the very bottom of the green portion of Germany here, you can see where Oberammergau is located. Um, it's about 45 minutes from Munich. And as you can see, it's pretty close to uh, both Switzerland, Austria, um, and also a uh, very Eastern portion of France. So in 2022, we will also be operating um, this extension of uh, two of our most popular ocean odyssey trips, which is the Pearls of Greece and the Dalmatian coast, which sails between uh, Piraeus, Greece, and Trieste in Italy, northern Italy, um, and then Spain and the Portuguese coast, a cruise around Iberia, and that cruise operates between Lisbon and um, Barcelona in 2022. So this, this extension can be traveled to from any of these itineraries. Um, and also we have obviously our concierge service who would be more than happy to uh, set up some itineraries and some some deviations if, if people are interested in traveling along to Oberammergau from any of the other itineraries that we are operating around that time as well. Thanks, Doug. So some of our most popular um, river cruises, as promised, we were we are are focusing today on um, some of our most popular rivers, um, and the very most popular uh, with all of our guests, both first-time travelers, referrals, groups, past travelers, everyone alike. Um, our very most popular trip is our Portugal. Portugal and Spain treasures along the Golden Douro River. This cruise operates between Porto, Lisbon, and sails all the way down the Douro um, to the border with Spain at a town called Barca d'Alva. Um, on either end of this itinerary, we also have some hotel nights in Lisbon with hotel nights um, at the end of the trip as well in Madrid um, or vice versa, depending on because this cruise operates in both directions. We also have optional extensions then to Barcelona um, on one end and the islands of Madeira on the other end, which are both very, very popular with our, with our guests. Um, there's limited availability at this point because it is such a popular trip. Um, and we do operate just 10 departures in 2021 with a smaller number of eight right now in 2022. Um, some of the highlights of this itinerary, um, you get to visit obviously Lisbon, um, some beautiful, beautiful scenic sailing in and out of Porto, um, the home of Port, um, beautiful walking tours in both Salamanca and Madrid, um, a lot of winery visits and port sampling, 
for those of you that do like port. Um, very, very popular in this region. Um, we also have in the fall um, some specialized harvest departures where you can actually participate and see live how the wine, the grapes are, are procured, how they're crushed, how they're turned into wine and also port. A beautiful, beautiful time in the Douro River. It's a very short river, but it's very, very windy. Um, so it does actually restrict the, the size of the vessels that can navigate up and down the water. So the maximum number of people that would be on the, these ships traveling in that area is 124 guests. So it's pretty small vessel. Um, but when you when you see the the um, the scenery and and everything in 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 the Douro River, you you would realize why the the ships are are smaller and and the river is a little more navigable there. Okay, we're moving along to our second most popular river cruise, uh, Majestic Rivers of Europe wine cruise, castles, cathedrals, and fairy tales. As the name suggests on here, um, this itinerary is full of um, wine experiences, wine tasting, seeing a lot of castles, a lot of cathedrals, a lot of various different um, architectural um, sites along the way, anything from um, Nuremberg to Heidelberg Castle to Cologne, um, sitting underneath the, the big um, cathedral, just absolutely spectacular all along um, the river. The river, uh, seeing it, seeing it from the inside of a riverboat or even outside on the on the deck is just a great way to go. Um, the river vessels that operate this itinerary uh, in 2021 and 22 will carry no more than 174 people, 174 guests. There are um, a few more, uh, a little bit larger than um, the Douro River Cruise. Um, this itinerary is 14 nights, so it's a perfect amount of time on the ship. Unlike Portugal, where it's a shorter seven night cruise with some nights of hotel on either end, this is this itinerary is a complete cruise. Um, and the only hotel nights are with the optional uh, excursions to Prague, Bratislava or Paris. Um, again, not too many departures in 2021 with availability, but um, a few more in 2022. Some of the highlights that you can expect to see along this itinerary. Uh, we, we pass a, a, a historic number, <laughs> nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Um, so that's quite a few. Um, one of the one of our itineraries with the most the most um, UNESCO sites on there. We have a full day uh, excursion in Heidelberg and the castle, all the way up the castle, with a beautiful view over the river and over the rest of the city. We have a tour of the Würzburg residence with some wine tasting, city tours in Budapest. Vienna, Cologne. Um, this itinerary does have two nights in Vienna, so I'm happy to say that we are we are actually the only operator that spends a full two nights in Vienna. So with that being said, that allows us to bring our guests to um, a beautiful evening Kursalon concert um, at the Kursalon um, Music Hall. Uh, in Vienna. Um, uh, a lot of our guests really just love that uh, champagne reception upon arrival and we just enjoy a wonderful, wonderful music concert there. We also have in included in this itinerary a walking tour of the beautiful small town of Regensburg in Germany. This itinerary passes through um, Germany, Austria and Hungary on that initial itinerary as well as um, a brief stop in Slovakia uh, to visit Bratislava, uh, which is not too far situated between uh, Vienna, uh, Austria and Budapest, Hungary. So you can see not, not a lot of people know where Bratislava is, but a beautiful, beautiful town on the river also on the Danube. Um, overlooking, the, overlooking the river is a beautiful castle on the hill. Very, very nice. As beef restrictions 
before COVID happened. Uh, we will be restricted and, and anybody traveling will be restricted to smaller numbers of people traveling within um, coaches or buses or any kind of vehicle. Um, but prior to COVID, Vantage did have a restriction where we had no more than 20 travelers in any of our groups. So even though there's 174 guests on the riverboat, we would actually split that group down even further. Um, so when we're on any of these guided tours, excursions, we'll have no more than 20 guests in any of the groups with the guides. Um, so this enables us to, um, to fit into smaller, smaller little um, alleyways or smaller little locations. Or if your, your guide thinks you, you might like to stop into a little um, patisserie or a little uh, coffee shop, then you know, more than likely your, your smaller group would be able to fit. Um, and we have a very high um, crew to passion, passenger ratio as well, as with all of our vessels, a four to one um, crew to passenger ratio. Moving along um, to another very, very popular itinerary is our Switzerland, the heart of the Rhine and Mosel rivers. Um, this itinerary starts from Amsterdam in the Netherlands, sails down to Germany, through France as well, um, and finishes up in Switzerland, um, or vice versa again. Um, this itinerary um, operates between May and October. Again, because it travels through a beautiful wine region, we also have um, a lot of harvest themed departures where a lot of wine, um, a wine tasting, wine demonstrations and so on, um, go on in, in all of the regions on this itinerary. Um, so after, after the ship leaves from Amsterdam, we travel to Nijmegen, Cologne, down to Berncastle, down to the Mosel, um, back up again to Koblenz, down through Mainz, um, near Frankfurt in Germany, um, down to Speyer, and then back into France to, to Strasbourg, um, Breischach, and then finishing in Basel, which is right at the meeting point of all three of those countries, France, Germany, and Switzerland, not too far down the river from our docking location in Basel, is the meeting point of all three European countries. So again, a very high crew to passenger ratio, 20, no more than 20 travelers in the group. This is also a beautifully relaxed itinerary just to, with 14 nights on the ship, uh, sailing uh, in either direction, depending on your departure date. Um, again, six UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Um, there is an optional excursion to travel even into Luxembourg. Um, and guests do have the opportunity to visit Belgium as well on the extension. We have a tour of Trier, a guided visit of Reichsberg Castle. We have a beautiful relaxing canal boat ride and walking tour in Strasbourg. Um, and we also have a full day wine route tour in the Alsace wine region, which is the region of France um, just uh, west of Strasbourg, um, an old part of France that did used to belong to Germany. Um, that was settled many, many moons ago, um, but it's famous for its wine now in France. A walking tour of Koblenz, Germany. We have a beautiful also uh, visit um, along the canals of Amsterdam and a canal cruise, and also a visit to the ever popular Rijksmuseum, um, which is a must see or must do when one is in the Netherlands, particularly Amsterdam, um, to visit all of the works of art from um, all of the, the Dutch masters that are on display there. The passage to Eastern Europe featuring Transylvania. Um, a few years ago, we made the decision to include um, a visit to Transylvania on this basic itinerary. Um, and guests do have the option to extend their time um, and extend their time in, in the Transylvania region. Um, but due to popular demand and due to feedback from guests like you, we were able to um, change the itinerary around so that we can include Transylvania on this itinerary. 
this is an 11 night itinerary um, with some hotel nights. So not 11 nights on the ship, nine nights on the ship, two hotel nights, um, starting all the way up in Budapest or in um, Bucharest down at the Black Sea um, or Georgiou operating again in both directions. Uh, guests visit um, Brashoff Castle, which is right in the middle of Transylvania, all Dracula country where you see the beautiful, beautiful castles and hidden um, mast in the hills and just a very, very scenic region of Romania. Traveling down from the Black Sea and from Romania, traveling through Bulgaria, through Serbia, through Croatia, back into Hungary, again, then to Slovakia um, to visit Bratislava, and then with an optional extension then to Poland, um, to Warsaw and Krakow, um, and on the other end, also an extended optional stay in Transylvania. That extension to Poland, to Warsaw and Krakow, also does pay a visit to the, um, to the camp at Auschwitz as well. Um, a marvelous itinerary, including many, many countries that what better way to travel along along the the rivers of Europe and, and visit multiple, multiple countries um, from the comfort of your cabin or lounge um, or balcony, French balcony um, along the way. Visit a total of five countries. We visit two UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Uh, we have a lot of scenic cruising on the Danube. Um, and we have a lot of visits, city tour visits that uh, possibly you wouldn't otherwise uh, end up visiting um, if not on a, on a river cruise. So an excellent way to take in um, another five countries on, on um, your, your itinerary and uh, possibly even uh, ticking them off your master map list or your, your list of places to travel to. And if you have a lot of time, um, or you find yourself with some time uh, to spare, you can combine two of our most popular itineraries. So by combining our majestic rivers of Europe itinerary and this Eastern Europe itinerary, we have the Grand European River Cruise. So this itinerary is a 25 night itinerary and sails all the way down from um, Germany, down through Austria, all the way down to Budapest, and then the other half of the itinerary that we just uh, talked a little bit about, sailing all the way down to the Black Sea. So you can combine both of these itineraries to really, really experience all of these countries along, along um, the rivers of Europe. Seven countries in total. When you combine all of the UNESCO sites, we're looking at a total of 11 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We're passing the, uh, the Iron Gates. We're, we're visiting Heidelberg. Again, we're taking the Kursalon um, concert. Many walking tours, visits to Belgrade, vi visits to B um, Vienna, visits to Budapest, seeing all of the... Um, um, all of the capital cities along the itinerary, many, many other smaller cities and towns that uh, perhaps uh, you would not normally um, be seeing if you, if, if you were traveling over, over land, um, these smaller towns along the rivers. Okay, Doug, thank you. Um, so I've covered a lot of our river itineraries. Um, I would love to talk all day about our right, river itineraries, um, but we we uh, we have some other river itineraries in 2021 to to Russia. We have some itineraries that travel on the Seine. Very small number of beds available. Uh, should people be interested? Um, because as we are shaping up our itineraries to move forward into 2021 and beyond, uh, we will be brought um, bringing online our two new ships are Ocean Explorer and Ocean Odyssey. Um, for the past three years, I've been working on this project to build these two um, almost identical vessels. Um, the first one, 
uh, will come on board and launch in April of 2021, the Ocean Explorer. And in April 2022, we will be launching our ship, the Ocean Odyssey. This, this is a sample of um, a deployment for one of the vessels. We have a global deployment between both vessels. The ships will be hitting every single continent in the world. <laughs> um, the first ship, the Explorer, will sail from Asia across um, through India, up through Dubai, up through the Suez Canal to Aqaba, Jordan, across the Mediterranean, up to Northern Europe, the British Isles. And then in September of 2021, she's going to cross the Atlantic um, from Iceland all the way over to Montreal. From there, she'll sail south for the winter, um, stopping and making some ports of call here in Boston. Um, where all of our staff and our friends and our family will all be able to have a good look at our ship um, that we've all been working so hard on for the last few years. And then she'll sail south to all the way down to Antarctica um, before turning around and heading back north um, in the spring of 2022. At the same time, in April of 2022, our Ocean Odyssey, the sister ship, will be launching from Asia and coming across and following a similar itinerary, um, taking in um, some itineraries, some further itineraries in the Mediterranean, particularly um, our itinerary that operates between Piraeus and Trieste. So it goes up the Dalmatian coast um, into Croatia, stopping at a lot of um, those smaller islands, um, smaller little harbors that maybe people have enjoyed before when they traveled on La Perla, um, a smaller boat that we have chartered there, um, held just 26 passengers. Um, our Ocean Explorer and Ocean Odyssey vessels, however, um, have a max of 77 cabins, 139 guests, but the ship does have cabins that we can convert into triple cabins, uh, family cabins, adjoining doors, um, and ultimately the, the maximum capacity does increase then if, if, every, if every single cabin that could occupy three people were occupied, there would be a max of 167 passengers on board. We have custom designed these vessels, everything from the bow windows to the swimming pool and hot tubs on the top deck to our hot rock dining area. Uh, we have a multitude of dining areas, um, uh, a number of different bars, um, drinking establishments on board. We have a fully functioning spa, hair salon, um, full gym. Um, Everything is custom designed with our Vantage guests in mind, um, following a lot of focus groups and meetings with a lot of our guests. Uh, we implemented a lot of their requests and requirements into our, our design of these vessels. Um, a lot of Scandinavian um, interior work um, on these vessels. Um, so very sleek, very clean, um, no, no, um, Excuse me. Um, nice furniture, comfortable furniture, big open, open areas and open windows um, and atriums on either side of the vessel that will add a lot of light into the common areas. A beautiful library. Um, this is a project that I'm just very, very proud of um, and proud to have been involved in over the last few years. So I'm just going to touch on a few of the itineraries that this, uh, this ship will, will hit um, throughout its deployment. Um, the itinerary will have both a, all of our itineraries will have both a tour director and a cruise director. On some of our itineraries where we have um, an expedition itinerary, so Antarctica um, cruising on the Amazon River, um, we will have um, an expedition team there um, and no, no cruise director, but um, expedition and environmental um, educating groups there on, the, on those itineraries. Um, 
the one of the most popular itineraries we are operating in 2021 is the ports of timeless wonder normandy amsterdam the kiel canal and beyond um, with the elimination or reduction of our itineraries that we previously had on the Seine, we found that a lot of our guests still wanted to visit the beaches of D-Day uh, beaches, um, Omaha Beach, visiting the areas around on floor. Um, so our deployment, uh, we were tasked with including Normandy on our itineraries. This itinerary starts from Poole in England. Uh, so our guests fly to London or Dublin, Ireland, my hometown. If they are taking our pre-extension, they travel down to Poole where they board the ship. They travel across the channel and they visit on floor and the beaches, um, traveling north then to Belgium, Ostend, visits to Bruges, home of the most magnificent chocolate in the world. Uh, sailing up further than to Amsterdam, all the way up to Denmark, to Han um, Hamburg, uh, down the key, uh, across the Kiel Canal to Denmark and finishing then in Copenhagen. Um, so a beautiful itinerary here, uh, 15 nights, uh, I'm sorry, 15 days or 14 nights. And with all of our itineraries on the Ocean Explorer and the Odyssey, we also have um, two nights of hotel uh, on either end of the itinerary. So rest assured if, if there are any flight delays or God forbid you forget your passport at home on your way to the airport um, and you have to reschedule for the next day, you won't miss the boat. Um, so we have some uh, hotel nights on all of the itineraries, get over your jet lag and everything before you get on board on board the vessel. So this itinerary is just limited to two departures in 2021. Um, moving along then to our jewels of Scandinavia, the Baltic capitals and St. Petersburg. I love this itinerary because it takes in so many uh, magnificent cities. Um, everything from Copenhagen, Stockholm, Helsinki, Tallinn, Riga, <laughs> St. Petersburg. Um, just really like it says the jewels of scandinavia and all of the baltic capitals um this itinerary um is a good way to visit uh russia um visit saint petersburg anyway um you would be not required to get the the normal visa process for russia um to travel there um, because you would be part of a cruise group and all together for your shore excursions in st petersburg this is a good way to to uh at least set your foot in russia and visit um some of the highlights that st petersburg has to offer um without going to the added expense of visas and so on um next year Again, um, some beautiful extensions operating as well in Copenhagen or Stockholm, um, pre or post itinerary. Um, the lesser traveled to um, Baltic uh, states of Estonia and Latvia. Um, this is a this is a really wonderful way to to uh, to see these smaller smaller. Um, cities or smaller countries that you may have heard of but never possibly had the aspiration to visit them this is a great this is a great way to do it while you visit all these other um, cities in in Scandinavia and I do find that this itinerary really gets all of the highlights of Scandinavia, all of these cities um, in a good way, um, because we all know places to visit in Scandinavia can be very, very expensive. Um, accommodations are very expensive. Um, so traveling by ship is a great way and a less expensive way to see all of these countries as you um, progress through that part of the world. Um, Moving along then to uh, one of my favorite itineraries, um, autumn in New England and Canada, sailing between Montreal and Boston. Um, so we have just come through um, the lovely period of, of the fall here in New England. Um, this itinerary sails in and out of Boston during perfect leaf peeping time. Um, beautiful, beautiful fall foliage. 
sailing all the way from Montreal up the St. Lawrence Seaway, visiting Quebec City, coming all the way around Gash Bay, uh, Charlottetown, Halifax, Nova Scotia, all the way down into Maine, into Bar Harbor, and then sailing down to here, um, to us here in Boston. Um, they'll be docked right in the middle of the city um, where you have ample time to explore um, both Boston, the surrounding areas, even Salem, uh, Massachusetts, home of the, the witch trials. Um, and this, this itinerary operates at a perfect time um, in October to visit those parts of, uh, of the country and New England in particular. Um, this itinerary is very, very popular, um, and I think that it is pretty close to being sold out on one of our departures. Um, so if this is something that interests you and, and staying maybe a little bit closer to home next year um, than going further afield, um, possibly staying in the U.S. and Canada, this is the perfect way, way to see um, the northeast and northeastern portion of Canada as well. Uh, from Boston, our ship, uh, the Ocean Explorer, will head south, as I mentioned, for the winter. Uh, she's going to leave from Boston and hit P-Town or Provincetown. Um, here in Boston, we like to call it P-Town, um, on the very top northern tip of Cape Cod, sailing down around into Martha's Vineyard, um, home of many, many um, presidents uh, who like to visit there, U.S. presidents visit there in the summer, spend their time there, Kennedy compounds, uh, visiting then from there, Newport, Rhode Island, uh, a beautiful time uh, to visit the mansions along the ocean front there, the Ocean Walk in Newport, beautiful, beautiful town. Heading then down um, to New York City, uh, where it will be docked very close to the USS Intrepid, um, beautiful location. Heading south from New York, we'll then hit um, Norfolk, Wilmington, uh, Charleston, down through the Carolinas to Amelia Island, and then heading out across the ocean into um, Nassau in the Bahamas. So a little bit of everything, a little cooler weather um, at the start of the itinerary and finishing up with a few days then in some nice warm weather and some nice pink sandy shores of Nassau in the Bahamas. This itinerary is a little bit longer at 16 nights, um, but a lot of included features, a lot of cultural discoveries on this itinerary, um, and we have limited it to only one departure, one departure date only in 2021. So this is a this is a, a hot a hot ticket. Um, this itinerary. Next, the ship then will head south even further, um, and it will go from Nassau down to Manaus on the Amazon River. So we'll sail through some of the beautiful islands in the Caribbean, um, Martinique, Barbados, St. Kitts, um, a stop in the Dominican Republic, uh, French Guiana, and then it will head inland then in Brazil and sail all the way down the Amazon to Manaus. So this itinerary will have some um, some expedition qualities on there, some zodiac rides in and out of the small tributaries off the Amazon. Um, this is a wonderful way to visit um, a different side of the Amazon than, than normally people people visit. Sometimes uh, people visit the Amazon on the Peruvian portion of, um, of the river to uh, sail out of Iquitos um, and maybe even the Colombian portion of, of the river. Um, this way we just sail down as far as Manaus. Um, again, a, a slightly longer itinerary. It's a 20 night itinerary. Uh, 24 included features, uh, five cultural discoveries. Uh, a lot of warm water, um, this itinerary, uh, so this will allow people to kayak or stand up paddleboard or possibly even swim and jump off um, our floating platform at the, at the, um, the rear of the vessel into the be beautiful blue waters there in the Caribbean Ocean. 
one departure of this itinerary as well in 2021. In 2022, there will be two itineraries, but just in, uh, in our first year, we'll just have one. And then moving onwards from here, uh, another wonderful itinerary that takes in a lot of South American capitals, Rio de Janeiro and my favorite, Buenos Aires, Argentina. This itinerary um, gives you the option also to have a pre-extension to Iguazu Falls, which I very highly recommend. I visited there for the first time uh, two years ago, and I can't wait to go back. Um, this itinerary makes a lot of stops in Brazil, heads down to Uruguay, uh, then all the way down to Punta del Este, Colonia, Montevideo, before finishing across um, the water in Buenos Aires. Uh, Passengers or guests can then also opt to take in an optional extension to Santiago, Chile, and really round out the, the Southern American capitals um, on that itinerary. Again, 15 night itinerary, jam packed with included features. Um, opt these included features are all optional. If you just feel like lounging on the top deck of the ship and just swimming, um, catching up on your suntan in December, um, maybe using the hot tub, um, feel free to do that. It's not required to go on every single excursion. Um, guests can also avail of the spa, the gym, all of the other things the ship has to offer. Um, so they don't actually have to get off the ship at all if they don't want to. <laughs> um, it's a nice, a nice part of the world with nice warm weather in what would otherwise be a, a much colder time for most of us anyway, those of us up here in the Northeast, um, this time of year is a little bit miserable weather-wise. So I will look forward to uh, possibly joining this sailing as well in 2021. From there, um, we will be sailing then down to Antarctica. This is an exciting time for us because this is going to be the first sailing of our own vessel to Antarctica. In the past, Vantage has offered cruises to Antarctica. Uh, we have chartered vessels. We've been reliant on other vendors, other suppliers to provide us with vessels that we have chartered. Um, this time, this is going to be our very first itinerary um, where we're operating it all ourselves. And I'm pleased to say that I will be actually bringing my father on this itinerary. I'm very looking forward to that. Not only does it sail all the way to Antarctica, but we also visit the Falkland Islands, which holds a lot of historic importance, um, both to uh, Britain and also to Argentina, um, to the point uh, that some people are so, um, caught in, in the history of it that they just refuse to talk about the Falkland Islands. <laughs> um, the extension opportunities here again are Iguazu Falls in Brazil and Easter Island um, in Chile. So that is um, a, a long little flight off the coast of South America out to Easter Island, um, but well worth, well worth the excursion. If you're all the way down in South America, why not just add in the extension to Easter Island? Very, very popular with our, with our guests. As with all of our itineraries to Antarctica, we have um, anticipated stops on the cruises and it all depends on the weather, um, which ports and which islands the ship can visit. Um, but some of the itinerary uh, we might be able to stop at is Deception Island, Half Moon Island, Culperville Island, Wilhelmina Bay, Port Lockoy, all of these different spots. Um, in Antarctica that would allow us to, to dock. Again, it's just extremely important weather-wise. Um, we are restricted then on where we can stop along, along the, uh, the way, but docking or stopping every day and land, land visits every single day. Here you have an opportunity to do um, kayaking, um, ice walking, all kinds of pl polar plunging, um, any kind of uh, crazy activity that you can think of. We'll have um, all of the opportunities to do that down there in, in Antarctica um, before it melts away. 
so those are our most popular itineraries, much sought after itineraries that we have coming up in 2021 and some in 2022. Um, but I did just want to also touch a little bit upon um, what we have for um, the future and what it's going to look like for our health and safety um, plan. Uh, as many people, many people ask, we're getting ready to go back now to operations. Of course, it's the news now that um, the vaccine is close and, and the vaccine in, has been uh, started now in, in uh, in England or in the UK today. So we're excited about the prospects of that. And, and it seems that we are, we're more and more every day looking forward to getting back to whatever our new normal is going to be. Um, we're just not going to let it stop us. We just will take a few more precautions going forward, I think. Uh, but um, I'm just going to cover our um, Safe Travels Initiative today, which is what we call Ship to Shore. Um, four, four main pillars of, uh, of our um, updates. Restarting operations, how we are preparing and training our staff, both in-house and overseas on our vessels. Uh, how we're going through all of those items. Um, we're ensuring the guest experience is both safe and secure everything from start to finish. If you have questions, we want to arm our staff here in Boston with the right answers and everything to help you make your plans. We're going to have enhanced communication, so broadcast out to our customers, frequent updates on our website. And also we're taking steps to um, to keep up with uh, the latest in technology and, and innovations that are coming about. Um, to do with all of these types of uh, pre-screening of, of temperatures and so on and so forth. Um, these are all really important pillars that we have um, have to adapt to as we as we move through um, resumption of operations. And we have worked together with um, under the guidance of the World Health Organization and also with um, partnerships with our our partners as well as the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, the European Barge Union, and our partners, uh, River Advice um, in Europe, who we work with um, on operating our ships. They are the leading independent global managers of ships on the inland waterways. Um, so we, we are working with them um, as we go through all of the pro, um, progress on everything to do with the vaccine, um, everything is laid out. Um, there is, we've, handed, we've created a handy little PDF file that people can um, read either or download or email them to themselves from our website. And um, that covers everything, in, uh, everything specifically to do with our um, health and wellness programs, our safety initiatives, everything that we are um, doing and adapting to um, in this ever-changing um, process that we're going through with uh, in a post-COVID world. Um, so it's important for us to stress that, you know, it's not going to stop us from traveling. Uh, we will just, um, we will just adapt slightly to, uh, to whatever our new, new faces of norm, norms are going forward. And we hope that um, everybody else will be able to do the same thing and, and join us uh, early in 2021 when we resume our travels and our operations at the end of March. Um, we have reinforced our sanitation protocols, for example. Um, we will be enforcing some social distancing um, and we will have um, extra masks, sanitizers, all of that available. Um, we will ask people to um, undergo testing or quarantine if they have been to some high risk areas of the world. Um, all of our staff over this off season period has been retrained in infection control, hygiene measures. Um, while we will not on our river boats have a doctor on board, um, we have contacts with um, doctors, nurses, medical professionals in every single place that we visit. On our ocean vessels, on the Ocean Explorer and the Odyssey, we will have a full-time doctor um, 
on an infirmary on board those two vessels um, in the event of anything, um, any illness. That was that was our plan prior to COVID, um, but it is an important item to to um, to mention to maybe help people feel a little bit more at ease. Um, we will be monitoring temperatures, um, both of the staff um, and our crew uh, throughout the, the uh, cruises before embarkation and every morning. Um, luggage will be disinfected upon arrival at, um, at the ships. Uh, kitchen supplies, equipment, everything will be routinely sanitized. You'll see a lot more um, hand sanitizing stations located through dispensers located throughout the ships. Um, you will, however, notice that some of the communal items will be temporarily taken away from um, the common areas. So previously, um, uh baskets for example baskets of bread or or help yourself cookie stations um those will be eliminated for the time being and you would be served those food items directly onto your plate by the crew um so to prevent people multiple hands going into um, multiple areas and, and baskets of food and, and whatnot um things like our bicycles our gym equipment umbrellas Communal supplies, those will be disinfected um, after each use and also um, routinely disinfected as well. Um, a lot of new signage. If you've traveled with us before, you will start to notice as you get back on back on the water with us, um, you will start to see a lot more signage, um, which will remind you of social distancing protocols um, and just keep, you know, keeping, um, keeping caution, cautionary distancing between um, different items and people. Um, we will also be encouraging our guests um, to wait in their cabins or outside the, the ship before departing on excursions via bus or motor coach. So previously people would gather in the lobby areas and people would be on top of one another almost. Um, so we're gonna encourage our guests to either wait in their cabins or just step outside on dockside to wait on, on buses. Um, so all of our tours will be conducted in accordance with the local government regulations. So um, that's that's a little bit different than um, here here in the U.S., where um, a county um, in in Germany might have more jurisdiction over um, a, a larger city. Um, so the restrictions would be different um, as we progress down the river or through an itinerary or as we visit di different towns along the way. Um, similarly, our um, safari based activities or so itineraries in Africa, um, we will be restricting the number of passengers on each of the safari vehicles, which is not necessarily a bad thing, um, because it means now that every single guest will have a window seat <laughs> with a space in between them um, and plenty of space to spread out and stretch their legs. Um, with lots of viewing possibilities. Um, seats will be cleaned daily in between groups, um, a lot of extra hand sanitizer and so on. Um, but that, that's the major difference that you will see um, on our African products going forward. Um, and as things change, um, which they're changing on a very <laughs> rapid basis at the moment, we will be updating all of our materials um, on our website. At the very top, you will be able to notice um, a section on our updating um, updating our travel updates and our book with confidence section. Um, this is where we have uh, updates on all of these items um, and also where you can download immediately the Ship to Shore, the Vantage Safe Travels Initiative little booklet, a 12-page PDF that goes through all of these items. And I 
think, thank you, Doug. I think that is everything I have on our health and safety items today, um, but feel free to submit any questions or concerns um, and our group will be happy to uh, either reach out at the, end of the, at the end of the webinar or reach out to you individually after, after the webinar has closed to answer any concerns or questions for you. Absolutely phenomenal. And Deirdre, thank you so, so much for your time here today. We do thank definitely you, greatly Doug. appreciate it. Thank you so much, Deirdre. And folks, uh, I do greatly appreciate uh, all of your time here today. Now, we do have just a couple of items that I wanted to, uh, to touch base on. I know that we're at the top of the hour here, uh, but specifically as it pertains to referrals as well as groups. Uh, tomorrow, please be on the lookout for an email specific to some of those uh, very, very webinar exclusive referral and group discounts and incentives. When it comes overall here to the webinar incentives and discounts that we're all looking for here today, as we know, we are going to be raffling off that $1,000 in future travel credit to one lucky attendee here today. Uh, tomorrow, when you do receive that uh, follow up email, there's going to be a post webinar survey. All that you need to do is go right on ahead and complete that. We'll auto-generate it back to us. From there, we'll get everything all set. We should have a, a winner announced here within about seven days' time. Now, in terms of exclusive webinar booking discounts and awards, do want to touch on that here momentarily. Now, for the webinar, we have a special offer here for you guys uh, which we do greatly appreciate all of your time here today, of course. The exclusive webinar rewards and discounts are as follows. For any 2021 or 2022 adventure, whether that's river, small ship, land, um, now that's going to be an extra $250 per person off of any journey. It's combinable with absolutely any other type of promotional material that you receive with a book by date uh, for any attendees and or family and friends of December 31st. In addition, we are extremely excited to announce that for any of those select seven ocean explorer trips that Deirdre was mentioning there, it's the ports of Timeless Wonder, Jewels of Scandinavia, Autumn in New England, charting the Eastern Seaboard, Pass of the Amazon, South America, Rio to Buenos Aires, as well as a white continent holiday, that's going to have an extra $750 per person off of those select seven ocean explorer trips. Our management does have the attendance list here today, so please do make sure that you mention that you've been here to the webinar, and we'll certainly pull those right on in here for you. With that all being said, please be on the lookout for that email that's going to be coming to you here tomorrow with all of this summarized as well. And any and all type of contact information that you may need. That all being said, folks, thank you all so, so much for your time here today. And we very much so look forward to having you on board here in 2022 and 2021. I'll have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone.